All right, here we are in a beautiful midday Bakersfield, California area. Looking at an extremely nice, fun little story on this one, 1972 Ford Bronco. Walk around and tell you about it like we usually do, sport package on it. We actually run a Marty report on it. This has been in the family since it was brand new. About 2017, the restoration was finished. It's called a, uh, I would call it a mild resto mod, but very nicely done. A lot of fun history in it. Mom and dad's Bronco, mom drove it everywhere here. We've got some pictures dating back to way back when they were out having fun with the Bronco. I would call it tastefully done, very nicely done, finished in its factory colors. I mentioned we ran a Marty report on it. Its original color is Sequoia Brown. They did go with the original colors on it. Mild, a lot of Tom's stuff on it, Tom's off-road stuff. Has a uh, two and a half inch suspension lift. Quad shocks front and rear, Bilstein's, four-wheel disc brakes. Looks stock in its format. Again, not overdone, not over-raised or over-lifted. Off-road rack here on the top. A lot of neat things done inside. We'll talk about those as we go around here. Dual tank. Underneath the hood is a 302 V8 that's been built up to about 500 horsepower, roughly. Nicely done. It was originally equipped with a 302 V8 also. Those are the two barrel back in the day there. Connected to its factory uh, three-speed manual transmission. It was an original column shift. They moved it to the floor because that's where dad had moved it to. About a three-year uh, restoration by Dave's fabrication out of Bakersfield, California here. Rotisserie style restoration. Powder coated frame. Just hang on to the video, we'll cover a lot here. The front bumper here is uh, powder coated, Tom's, has a Smitty synthetic rope toe wench on it, or wench on the front. Bumper's all powder coated, the shiny black there. Has a Dana 44 front axle. Limited slip up front. The original Dana, is, everything's been rebuilt or gone through. It's a very, very nice high-end uh, restoration on this one. All stainless hardware throughout, all under the... We'll get underneath the hood and stuff like that for you. Again, refinished in a, you know, in a tribute to uh, his parents. 2017, three years, less than about 400 miles on it right now. Marty Report I have sitting there on the seat. Factory door trim. These are custom uh, window cranks uh, for this gentleman's brand. But it has these uh, tread style. Has vintage air conditioning. Has power steering. Has Hurst uh, shifters here for the uh, transfer case. And the transmission. You'll see the under dash AC unit here. These are all travels of this Bronco that his uh, father had done over the years, 70, 76, that type of thing. They were all uh, put back on the dash of the Bronco during the restoration. Has dual exhaust with uh, electric cutouts on I'll it. I'll show you here where the cutouts are for the exhaust. Factory style upholstery colors. I guess I should show you the Marty report here on it, but we'll have this posted at Spud's Garage for you. It is a sport sport package. Dual tanks on it. They've added a Tom's uh, full roll cage on it. Old school style wrap. What they've done on the floor here is very neat, and you'll hear me talk about it in the back too because I've already done that. But they came with a factory mat, like a floor mat like thing that was roughly this color and he took it in to have it matched from the Rhino company. The whole top and bottom of this has been Rhino coated. The bottom's a different color but just to give it the factory feel. It also adds really nice to the structure on these. All new wiring harness. Heat AC. These are the original seats that were redone during the restoration of the factory style upholstery. They've added some uh, these off-road seat belts on it here and back. They've got the retractable style seat belts, which are nice. You'll see the finish back here. Got the OS grab handles there. 
Door jam to door jam. We talked about all the stainless hardware. I don't think I could spend enough time on this Bronco. This is very nice. Door sill plates, billet door sill plates. This is stainless hardware here. Doors fit nice. It's the original hard top on it. Might be getting a little sun reflection here. Should step back and let you take a look at it and try not facing the sun. These are Mickey Thompson, which is period perfect for it. Uh, Pro Comp Extreme M2s. These are 33, 12, 5, 15s. Tom's rear bumper with a swingway spare. We'll actually take that through the motions for you here and we'll get into the back. Get you in the back here. You like we talked about during the walk around, this thing is just beautiful inside and out. Tastefully done, not overdone. I know I'm repeating myself. As a, uh, these came with a vinyl mat in them and it was along these lines of color and he went and had the Rhino guys match the factory style mat in here as far as color goes. It's trimmed off along the paint lines here. Sequoia Brown goes all the way through it. Tom's roll cage. Old school wrap, very nice. All stainless hardware like we talk about throughout the whole video. Stainless hardware. Retractable seat belts for the jump seat on the back here. Also up front. So you can take the grandkids out, that kind of thing. Very, very nice. Flip here with the uh, swing out spare on the back here. All high end powder coat, gloss powder coat on the bumper here. Receiver hitch. Really easy to do. Beautiful warm day here in Bakersfield. BT Bronco. Got some fun family pictures of this. Uh. So family owned, over 50 years, 51 years since new. Nice little dirt road down here. We got it. people going by and horses. Again, very nice. You'll see all the stainless hardware, Allen hardware bolts there on the shifter boxes. 394 miles since complete. I'm going to go ahead and hop up in here. Tilt steering column. Get there. See the tread design on the this is a vintage air, you wouldn't even ever know it, it looks stock. Um, it's a power port, wipers, lights, and the switch down here in the middle is the exhaust cutouts. We had it up on the lift for you too. Burns the brake down here, where it belongs. get you underneath the hood here very very nice uh, subtle again built a 302 Ford V8 it was originally equipped with a 302 V8 two barrel V8 but he rebuilt a 302 V8 Ford it has uh, Edelbrock aluminum cylinder heads it has an Edelbrock intake manifold with a Holley four barrel carburetor on it 650 CFM MSD distri billet distributor has MSD ignition Here's a digital control box right down here. Again, nice and tidy, just kind of tucked away. Optima battery with a billet hold down. Aluminum radiator. 
has a billet serpentine, or excuse me, billet belt drive, not serpentine. Put stainless steel steering couplers in it, retain the factory wash and tank here. This is the power steering fluid reservoir for it, I believe. Willwood, four wheel disc brakes on it, very nice. Stops and goes, factory three speed transmission, completely rebuilt, Dana 44 front axle, Ford nine inch rear. It was originally optioned with limited slip axles, front and rear, we have the Marty report. Again, original Sequoia Brown. Tasteful. There you go. All right, we actually are going to have uh, undercarriage video. We had it up on a lift, but we want to kind of do the outside walk around where I can talk about it. Very nicely done. Powder coated chassis, rotisserie restoration. This is a Dana 44 front axle. It is limited slip. Has a Tom's two and a half inch suspension only lift on it, so nice and tasteful. Has disc brake upgrade up front, Willwood master cylinder up top. Disc brakes here, you can see the quad shocks up front, the Bilstein shocks. The chassis finish, and again, we'll have it up on the lift here. Has the cutouts on the exhaust. We're already giving you a clip of that. Or we should be sharing it right about now or something like that. Has the Ford 9 inch rear differential on the back. These are factory axles front and rear. Dana 44 front, limited slip. Quad shocks in the rear. Bilstein shocks. Very, very nice rotisserie restoration. Everything was either powder coated or painted a show quality finish limited miles since it was complete. See the disc brakes in the rear with braided lines. Again, we'll show you the wheelhouses here. These were all rhino coated. See the finish on it? Adds a nice insulation factor. Again, I'll follow this up with an undercarriage on lift with no narration. There you go.